Welcome to Dashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. Motion is all around us. In this video, we're going to cover the formula for Newton's second law of motion and then how to use that formula to solve various practice problems. In order to understand how to perform the calculations for Newton's second law, it is important that you remember the information we covered in our What is a Force video and our Newton's second law of motion video. If you do not remember this information or need a refresher, please check out our videos on these topics. Remember from our Newton's second law video, the formula that we use to solve Newton's second law is F equals ma, where F is force in Newtons, m is mass in kilograms, and A is the acceleration in meters per second squared. We can solve this formula by knowing two of the variables and then we'll solve for the third. An easy way to solve this formula is to use the triangle setup shown here. When using the triangle, all you have to do is cover up the letter you're solving for and the triangle will tell you whether to multiply or divide. So if I'm solving for force, I cover up the F and the triangle tells me to multiply mass times acceleration. I know this because the variables are next to each other. If I'm going to solve for the mass, I cover up the m, and the triangle tells me to do force divided by acceleration. I know this because the variable f is on top of the variable a. And finally, if I'm solving for acceleration, I'll cover up the letter a, and the triangle tells me to divide force divided by mass. I know this because the variable f is on the top of the variable m. Now let's look at some practice problems. Our first problem says that a 10 kilogram bowling ball would require what force to accelerate down an alleyway at a rate of 3 meters per second squared. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what the question is asking me to solve for. I see in the question is asking me what force would be required so I know I'm solving for F. So in my triangle I'm going to cover up the letter F and that will tell me to do mass times acceleration. So now that I know that, I can write F equals MA. And from here, all I have to do is pull the numbers from my problem and plug them into the formula. I can get the mass of 10 kilograms and plug that in, and I can get the acceleration of three meters per second and plug that in. Now all I have to do is put this in my calculator. I can do 10 times 30 to get a final answer of 30 Newtons. This means, that if a 10 kilogram bowling ball needs to accelerate down the alleyway at a rate of 3 meters per second, a force of 30 newtons must be applied to it. In our second problem, the question says, what is the mass of a truck if it produces a force of 14,000 newtons while accelerating at a rate of 5 meters per second squared? Again, I'm going to look at the question and see that it tells me to solve for the mass. So in my triangle, I know I need to cover up the letter M. This tells me if I want to solve for the mass, I need to do the force divided by the acceleration. So I can take the numbers from my problem. I have a force of 14,000 newtons and an acceleration of five meters per second squared, and I can plug those into my formula. Now in my calculator, I just have to do 14,000 divided by five, and that gives me a final answer of 2,800 kilograms. That means that the mass of this truck is 2,800 kilograms. In our final practice problem, we are going to look at how to solve for the acceleration. Our question says, what is the acceleration of a softball if it has a mass of 0.5 kilograms and hits the catcher's glove with a force of 25 newtons? So when I look at my triangle, I'm going to cover up the letter A, and that tells me to do force divided by mass. So from here, I can just pull the force and the mass from the problem and plug them into my formula. And that gives me 25 divided by 0 0.5. I can plug this into my calculator and that will tell me that the acceleration of the softball is 50 meters per second squared. Now you know how to solve the equation F equals MA. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us be able to produce more helpful science content. If there's a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.